So we're here at the barn in the Lori Ranch and I have my wife with me, my beautiful fitness model, Julie. Julie Lori, you probably have seen her channel. Uh, she's the one who's making me do my own YouTube, which is fair, I guess, because I've put her on screen for a number of years. I think it's been almost 20 years. So we're here with a cold plunge. Uh, I know a lot of folks are interested in this. I know I've talked about it uh, with a lot of my friends, uh, a lot of the folks from Fitbody uh, asking me all about cold plunge. What is it? You, got, you built your own? How'd you do that? So I'm just going to show you what I've got here. Uh, I'm gonna do it while Julie hops in the tub here. She's gonna get to do cold plunge. It's not that bad. It's like 54, 53. But anyhow, it's not that bad. She's Julie's gonna hop in. We're gonna give her a cap down here and we're gonna cheer her on. This is one of her favorite things to do. I just know it. All right, Jules, you're gonna hop in there. We're gonna give you a, how long you wanna be in? Uh, four minutes. Four minutes? I don't know if I can talk for four minutes. <laughs> All right, well, you want to count down or you just, she's going for it. All right, time started. All right, so you may want to turn that 90 degree angle in there away from you because you may just freeze the bits. <laughs> First 30 seconds are always that which sucks. So anyway, the cold plunge is, uh, is just that. It's a cold tub where you get in it and it, it provides a lot of different benefits. It helps with workout recovery. It helps with mental resilience. Um, you know, it helps with circulation and the immune system. Uh, there's a lot of studies done on it. You've probably seen on the Huberman podcast and about 10 other people doing about well, probably hundreds at this point. Um, but the cold plunge is so much fun, as you can see. It's an integral part of our fitness routine. Uh, it's what we do. I do it every single day, sometimes twice a day. Julie does it about three or four times a week, maybe. Uh, the benefits really come with a total of 11 minutes of exposure of prolonged cold exposure, usually two to four minutes at a time. Anything lower than two minutes is really not long enough. Um, but they say 11 minutes a week at, I believe it's 50 something degrees or lower, 55 or 59 degrees or lower water temp. There's lots of benefits. I mean, basically uh, it, it helps relieve inflammation, whether it's due to an injury or working out. Uh, the recovery aspect is a huge part of it. Um, mental resilience, like I said before, uh, circulation, and it can improve your immune system. So uh, I, there's a lot of studies out there. I'll put them in the show notes below. But this is my cold plunge that I built. Uh, it's in progress, as you can kind of tell. You can see the, uh, the pump and the chiller and all that here. I'll, I'll explain a little bit of that later in the video. But uh, it's a work in progress. It actually started out as a much bigger setup from another set of DIY plans that somebody put out. Uh, I've made it a little different and a little bit smaller footprint, a little bit more efficient. Um, so Julie, you're at two minutes. Okay, that's You're good? No, you can do three minutes. Come on, okay. three minutes. Okay. All right, <laughs> at least until you shiver. A lot of times what I do is I get in there and after two and a half, three minutes, I'm like, I don't know, is that good enough? Once you start to shiver, you know that you've reached kind of the maximum benefit of the cold plunge. Once you start to feel the shiver and feel that really cold, all over body feeling, which I'm sure, oh my gosh, you should see the goosebumps. I wish you could see the goosebumps here because it's just like crazy. She's gonna kill me because I know she just shaved her legs this morning too. So that's not so fun. So anyhow, Julie, you are 20 seconds out from being done. So it's great for athletes, it's, it's great for actually anybody. My son's done it, my sister's done it. It's really a, a great way. I, I use it to build mental resilience. Like I said, I do it twice a day. I spend a maximum of four or five seconds before getting in. And that's something that's always been a problem for me is getting to the point where like, I just want to go and do things and, and get them over with. You are done. Let's get Julia a towel here. <laughs> But I use it to help me build mental resilience and uh, really start to do hard things. And uh, that's been one of the primary goals of why I do it. So this is my wife. Oh, you are freezing. <laughs> oh, you think? Awesome. Well, I'll, uh, I'll start the rest of the rundown on what the cold plunge is, how I built it, all the componentry and stuff like that. And I'll put stuff in the show notes. If you want to build your own or try it on your own, um, all this stuff is super easy. Either Amazon, Tractor Supply, Walmart, all those places have the kind of stuff to put it together. So. Cool. Okay, so I didn't go into depth about what each of the components is. I think I may have listed them out, but the cold plunge is made up of about six components. The, the tub itself, which is the vessel for the water, the pump, the chiller, the filter, and then insulation and a cover. 
So each of those components serves a different purpose. Obviously, the insulation in the cover keeps the water cold, keeps heat from entering into the system. And the way we get this water cold is not just through traditional ice. I mean, you can do that, but dude, it is expensive, it is not efficient, and it is super not handy. Um, especially when it's hard enough to sometimes bring yourself into getting into the tub. Like, I give myself a five second countdown and I'm in. If I think about it any longer than that, it's likely not to happen, um, which is another added benefit, doing hard things, right? That's what cold plunges can be for as well. Like it's just getting over that initial, I don't wanna do this. Uh, you know, how many times have we sat down and not wanted to write a report? We've not wanted to do a blog post, pack out orders, whatever. This is some way to help build some mental resilience. Anyway, off topic, uh, we're talking about each of the components. The vessel, this is a 100, ga 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub, tractor supply, a lot of other places have them, Rural King and other places. Then we plumb it in, and I think I talked about this before, which is the bulkhead, which allows you to have a port through the side wall of the solid tub. So we used a hole drill to put a hole in the side and then put the bulkhead, which screws on and creates a watertight uh, gasket around that hole. It's threaded, then it goes into a three quarter inch adapter that go then goes into uh, some hose that allows it to go to the pump. This is an active aqua, 1100 gallon an hour pump. I can put the link in the description below. That takes the water, pulls it from the tub, pumps it into the chiller. The chiller has a set of coils and refrigerant that helps cool the water down. I have mine set, Julie's getting in it, so it's like 56. I usually like mine around in the high 40s, but you know, we gotta have a balance here, right? Um, then it pulls it through the, the chiller back through a filter. I just have a particulate filter on this. I don't want this like super filtrated. Um, I'm only getting in it for three minutes to five minutes at a time. There's no reason this needs a super heavy duty, you know, five micron filter on it. I think I, what I have in here is, um, it's a sediment filter, uh, which takes all the bits and hairs and things like that out of it. And then it puts it back out into a port that goes out, which is the other bulkhead. It's kind of like a hot tub, except it's cold. Uh, that's the way the, the pump and the, the filtration set up each of the components. This is just a whole house filter system. Uh, it's meant for you know putting in your house if you have either uh, a, a cistern or something like that you're drawing water for, or if you're doing water reclamation from your roof or whatever, it filters out all the gunk. Um, I'm using it here. It serves the purpose very well. Again, everything is set up with three quarter inch fittings. Um, I can put some links to all of those components and stuff in the, the notes below, but that's the rundown and I'll take you a quick peek inside here. So this is just a piece of plywood with some handles on it. These were actually from a, a kitchen remodel project we did that I have left over. I'm like, how perfect. You just lift it straight up. And this is the uh, insulation that I'm actually gonna put around the four walls of the enclosure. Inside of that, I'm either gonna do spray foam or batting, probably batting because it's easier to pull in and out if I have to do any maintenance. Um, inside here, I also, I talked about it before, I have a little 90 degree fitting on the, the cold plunge as well. I'll show a close up of that. But that just helps the water circulate and keeps it moving, keeps it from hitting me in the uh, nether regions and freezing off, off the bits. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the quick rundown of my cold plunge. Uh, hope it helps you understand how people are building these. 